Hey guys, I wanted to talk about uh, the relationship between five and one uh, so when, you're, when you're alternating them, um, kind of like in a, a tune like Night in Tunisia or Miner's Holiday, Kenny Dorham tune. Uh, there's a ton of other ones out there. Um, uh, Softly as in the morning, sunrise, um, and and this also is a um, I guess process, a thought process that you can use on tunes that have anything that's similar to rhythm changes. Um, and after thinking about it and analyzing, it's sort of a, a, a five-one aspect as well. So first things first, um, I'm thinking of them very simplistically. C minor, G7, flat nine, C minor, G7, flat nine. Um, and then the first exercise to roll through is your minor triad, and then your diminished um, either uh, seventh chord or triad, which is gonna be. So you have. And what you would do is you would invert all of that. So your first inversion, now I'm um, alternating between C minor, G7 flat 9, which is uh, like a D diminished chord. And same thing, uh, this is again C minor, but it's, it's inverted. And, and so on and so on. And at some point you're gonna you're gonna run into a, a place where it doesn't quite work out, and that's when you use the natural six um, in your minor chord. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the natural six to the uh, minor triad, which is in this case C minor. A is your 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 sixth. And you'll be able to um, complete the entire scale. Uh, if you listen to that first note, this note, and it evens it out uh, a minor bebop. Minor bebop scale is what that bottom note makes. So after you practice this in all your keys, you should be able to get a, a strong grasp and understanding of uh, those two chords working together. You can come back down. I mean, however many times you need to do that, do an F. In all of your uh, scales, all your minor scales, and, and that's minor. Uh, major works the same way, except instead of having a flat third, you have a natural third, but everything else stays the same. You do that in all the scales, you just have a natural third or a minor third. All the rest of the notes will stay the same. Um, with that being said, you can hear some of these sounds used in a lot of Cuban music, which has a lot of 5-1 um, uh, voice leading. So we'll talk about that, both aspects, the jazz aspect, Afro-Cuban aspect, in the next video.